Hello kids how are you welcome in our english class myself sadhna mishra your english teacher today i am going to introduce you with your english lr your english lr is having a resemblance like this lr means learning resource the mount etra english learning resource for grade 1 is based on the ncert marigold book this book highlights the four essential skills of language listening speaking reading and writing so let's start page number 7 so children did you remember something seeing the picture think think how does he looks happy or sad tell me hmm happy so now you are aware Which picture is this? Yes, poem number 1, a happy child. Now I am taking page number 8, phonic time. In this we will learn about the relationship between the letters and sounds. As you can see, here consonants and vowels are given. Say the letters of the alphabet aloud or sing them. so children you have to say the letters of the alphabet aloud or you can sing them also there are two kinds of letters consonants and vowels vowels are a e i o u the remaining letters are consonants see the exercise is given color the consonants in red and vowels in blue but children we will do this exercise in our class and page number 9 also so i am taking now page number 10 taking time it will help you to enhance your communication skill as you can see a conversation is given here greet your teacher and say your name i know you know it very well but let us practice so teacher said good morning children i am meera your class teacher may i know your names please one kid said good morning teacher i am sam second one good morning teacher i am alia third one good morning teacher i am kem so children you can practice this in your home as well Now page number 11 Environment time A shelter is a place which protect us from heat rain cold and dust right Hmm So name this shelter and also name who lives in it See a word bank is given here The words are house nest pond beehive fish people birds bees so first picture is what is this children tell tell hmm this is a nest who lives in it birds now the second picture what is this this is a house who lives in it people like us right third one is pond who lives in it fish other one beehive who lives in it bees right enjoyed it i hope you will now page number 12 life skills By this we learn necessary skills to interact with everyone and every time with respect. Greetings. Greet everyone that you know with a smile using the following. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Welcome. Thank you. Children, in morning time we should wish everyone good morning. If we meet someone in afternoon then we will greet good afternoon before sleeping we should wish 
good night to everyone whenever someone is coming to our home or somewhere we should welcome them we should thankful to everyone who helped us by greeting them thank you so children you can enact this at your home now let's proceed to our next page page number 13 a picture is given here hmm did you identify the picture i am confused three pigs are there three types of houses are there a wolf is there which picture is this i have seen it somewhere did you identify if yes then you deserve a clapping very good this is the picture related to our story three little pigs now on page number 14 the phonic time again came so children you have to read it with the help of your pdf and dear parents kindly help your ward in reading because reading is a best skill short u sound words are given here so i am moving to page number 15 reading time which will enhance your reading capability now we are going to read the following story this is nico my oh oh a picture is given here so children whose picture is this what is this a cat right so here words are not given but pictures are given so we have to complete the story with the identification of the pictures so i am going to read out this is neko my cat she is which color is this children yellow so sentence will be she is yellow in color she likes milk and fish she loves to play with her ball she sleeps in a basket neko does not like the rain but she loves the sunshine enjoyed the story you can practice this at your home on page number 16 writing time is given here are the question answers which we have already done in our notebook so i am proceeding with the page number 17 Question number 2 complete these sentences with the correct words A Sonu lived in a house of dash two options are given here straw oblique sticks so children Sonu lived in a house of straw right answer B Monu lived in a house of sticks or bricks children sticks C. Monu and Monu ran to dash wolves or Gonu's house. Gonu's house. Now D. The brick house was very dash weak or strong. Children. Brick house was weak or strong. Yes, it was very strong. So the answer is strong. E. The three little pigs lived happily together in a dash orange brick or red brick house. Right answer is red brick. Rest of the pages we will do in our class. Homework time. So children, you have to note down the work which is given in the PDF. Now riddle time. Previously I have asked the riddle it can see but isn't an eye did you find the answer the answer is a keyhole so today's riddle is i have hands but cannot hold a thing what am i i am repeating i have hands but cannot hold a thing what am i here's a hint for you think about that have hands think think So children next video we will going to read out a poem after a bath till then